Hello, and welcome to the Big One class. We believe that when you first become interested in blockchain or cryptocurrency, you frequently come across acronyms that sound similar to POW and POS. And you were at a loss for understanding these words that you had never used before. Let's talk about the three main blockchain consensus mechanisms in this video. What is a consensus mechanism? Blockchain is a distributed ledger. This ledger differs from traditional ledgers in that it allows anyone to participate in accounting. However, bookkeeping necessitates the application of a universally recognized rule. Namely, how to keep accounts to be effective. And the blocking's consensus mechanism is based on this universally accepted rule. At the moment, the three most common blockchain consensus mechanisms are POW, POS, and POS. They are the three primary accounting rules of blockchain networks. It plays an essential role in the distribution of bookkeeping rights and associated income. POWS Proof of Workload Mechanism Proof of work is used to confirm that you have completed a specific amount of work. The Proof of Workload Mechanism uses the workload results to prove the contribution size and then determines the accounting rights and rewards based on the contribution size. The Proof of Work Process is the process by which your computer performs mathematical operations. Simply put, everyone answers the same question. And whoever calculates it first is in charge of keeping the books. The person who maintains the account is eligible for the corresponding reward. Which is cryptocurrency. The benefits of POW include decentralization, fairness, and justice. POW has the disadvantage of consuming computing power and wasting energy. Post Proof of Stake Mechanism. The Proof of Stake Mechanism states that the more equity you have contributed, the greater the rewards you can receive. The equity here refers to the amount and duration of the cryptocurrency you hold. And it is allocated accordingly. The dividend reward system is like that of stocks. The more coins you have and the longer you keep them. The more dividends you can receive and the greater your right to bookkeeping. The benefits of POS include low energy consumption. A high cost if you cheat. And a short time to reach an agreement. The disadvantage of POS is that currency holdings are typically centralized. And liquidity is limited. Post Delegated Proof of Stake Mechanism Based on POS The POS Delegated Proof of Stake Mechanism is optimized. Rather than using computing power to decide. Producers are chosen through voting to fulfill their rights and obligations on their behalf. Like the election mechanism of a joint stock company. Ordinary shareholders cannot serve on the board of directors. But they must vote to elect representatives to the board. Calculation is based on the weight of the cryptocurrency in each person's hand. And then the vote based on the importance of electing someone to represent their rights and interests. As well as acting as an agent for bookkeeping. The benefit of POS is that it reduces the number of accounting nodes. Improves collaboration. And increases accounting efficiency. The disadvantage of POS is that it reduces the degree of decentralization because the selected representatives keep accounts. And there is some centralized control. The Big Ones class for today is over here. Thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.